Welcome to Lesson 9 of the Mighty Language Class. Today, we'll practice some more talking about our relatives and their names. Then we'll learn about postpositions, which is the Maidu version of prepositions. And finally, we'll learn how to say this and that, here and there. Let's start with our dialogue. This is a dialogue between Thomas and Patty, who just met each other. Now, I'm going to switch pictures between Patty and Thomas so you can tell who's talking. And I'm not going to try to do a man's voice and a woman's voice because I know you guys will laugh. So you might laugh anyway about these pictures, but I don't know how else to do this. So if you can, practice the dialogue with another person. Here's the dialogue, starting with Patty. Hesasaka, minki yam hesim makare. Thomas says, Nikki yam kakan Thomas. Homonim makare minki heskatom. What do you think that means? Who are your relatives? Then Thomas says, Nick Bacon kakan, Wolem Midem, Jakobem Robert. Jakobem means whose name is. Repeat, Jakobem Robert. Now repeat, Nick Bacon kakan, Wolem Midem, Jakobem Robert. Nick Necky Yonka Khan Mary. Repeat. Nick Necky Yonka Khan Mary. Miki Heskam Yam Hasim Makare. Now we don't have a word for last name, so I'm saying family name here. Repeat. Miki Heskam Yam Hasim Makare. What is her last name? Now we could have said Heskak Yam family's name, which would be okay too. Maki Heskam Yang Kakan Smith. Repeat. Maki Heskam Yang Kakan Smith. Unim Mary Smithik Mabekam John Smith Makare. Is this Mary Smith's father, John Smith? Notice we added ik to the end of Mary Smith to mean Mary Smith's. We can add an, a, an M to the end of John Smith. We could say John Smith M because of the equal sign verb makare. Mabakum equals smithen. You can put the endings on the English words and names if you want. So repeat. Unum Mary Smithic Mabakum John Smithen Makare. Wee Nicknicky Mabakum Kakan Richard Smith. No, my mother's father is Richard Smith. Repeat. Wee nick necky ma bacon kakan Richard Smith. Ho min necky manem homonim makare. Do you know what that means? Who is your mother's mother? Repeat. Min necky manem homonim makare. Nick koton kakan Jane Johnson. Repeat. Nikotong Kakan Jane Johnson. Or he could have said Jane Johnson M if he wanted to be super correct. Me, homonic mabekang maka. Homonic is a question word meaning whose. She's asking whose father are you? Repeat, homonic mabekang maka. Whose father are you? Nikki Teki Yanka Khan Georgium. Nick Poki Yanka Khan Susim. You can say Susim and Georgium if you want to be extra correct, adding the M. He's telling her his son's name and his daughter's name. Let's repeat again. Nikki Teki Yanka Khan Georgium. Nick Poki Yanka Khan Susim.
Machoki menem hamona makare. What did she say? Who is their mother? The two of them. Repeat. Machoki menem hamona makare. Machoki menem kakan niki kalem julian. I will post this dialogue on our Facebook page. Practice it because we're going to add to it next time. You should know how to talk about your name, your family, and their names. Next time we'll add more to this dialogue, talking about where they're from, where they live, and work. Let's do a little review of last time when we talked about possession and our relatives. In today's dialogue, we learned the question word homonic, whose. Homonic maka means whose are you. Homonic makare means whose is it? Who does it belong to? Repeat, homonic makare. Now for practice, I'm going to ask you, homonic makare, whose is it? And then I'll say which relative in English. I want you to answer in Maidu with kakan, it is so-and-so's. For example, I say, homonic makare, my mother. Then you say, nick-nick kakan, meaning it is my mother's. Then I'll show you a picture of something using the same relative you just mentioned. I want you to say that the thing in the picture belongs to them. So here's a picture of a car. What will you say? I hope you said, nick-nick kletan kakan. It's my mother's car. Repeat. Nick nick kaletan kakan. Homonik makare, you're one person's father. I hope you said min bekak kakan, it's your father's. Homonik makare. I hope you said min bekak pandakan kakan, it's your father's gun. Repeat. Min bekak pandakan kakan. Homonik makare, our more than two, grandmother. I hope you said iseki nikotok kakan. It's our grandmother's. Iseki nikotok kakan. Homonik makare. I hope you said, Niseki Nikoto Kabon Kakan. It's our grandmother's house. Repeat, Niseki Nikoto Kabon Kakan. Homonik Makari, their, more than two's, grandfather. Maseki Maopak Kakan. It's their grandfather's more than two people's grandfather. Repeat, Maseki Maopak Kakan. Homonik Makare. I hope you said, Maseki Maopak Webumsun Kakan. It's their grandfather's dog, more than two people's grandfather. Repeat, Maseki Maopak Webumsun Kakan. Homonik Makare, his daughter. Muki Mapok Kakan, it's his daughter's. Or you could just say Mapok Kakan. Homonik Makare. Muki Mapok Ponin Kakan, it's his daughter's phone. Repeat. Muki Mapok Ponin Kakan. Or just mapok ponin kakan. Hee, yahakan. Okay, let's add more relatives, sisters and brothers. My older sister is Nick Etty. Repeat, Nick Etty. Did you notice the glottal stop between the Nick and the Etty? Notice we didn't say Nick Etty, it's Nick Etty. 
How would you say your big sister, meaning older sister? I hope you said min eti. Repeat, min eti. Not min eti. Min eti. My younger sister is nick ga. Notice the special K sound, almost like a hard G. Repeat, nick ga. My younger sister. How would you say his younger sister? I hope you said maga or magi maga. My older brother is Nixamboye. Repeat, Nixamboye. How would you say our two of us's older brother? Nisaki Nixamboye or Nisaki. Mesamboya. My younger brother is Nicktuni. Repeat, Nicktuni. How would you say there more than two's younger brother? Maseki Matuni. Okay, so now you should know your parents, grandparents, sisters, brothers, son, daughter, husband, wife, and cousin. Now what if you want to make the special kinship terms plural, more than two? You add woli at the end. Mabeka woli. What do you think that means? It means fathers, but also male elders. Menewoli means mothers or female elders. You can put woli on the end of any of these special kinship terms. Repeat the word for male elders, mabeka woli. Repeat the word for female elders, menewoli. Masamboya woli means siblings, including younger and older, male and female. It might even include cousins. It shows up a lot in the old stories. So re repeat, masamboya woli. Another way to show plural more than two is to use bomo like Mame Gallagher did. Tom Young uses both, but the wali ending is only for the special kinship terms. Bomo could be for anyone. How would you say my little brothers using wali? Niktuni wali, my little brothers. How would you say it using bomo? Niktuni bomo. My little brothers. Notice you have to have an M before the bomol, but you don't have an M before the woli. And when little brother is doing the action, Nictuni Wolim or Nictunum Bomom. The M for the subject comes after Woli and Bomol to show the subject of the sentence. To talk about two of anything, you can add the cho ending. Kalecho is two women. Repeat, kalecho. It's not just for the special kinship terms, but can be used for anything or anyone. A pair of horses is kawaiucho. How would you say, I talk to my female elders? You would say, Nicknewoli Weakas. Repeat, Nicknewoli Weakas. How would you say, He saw our more than two of us as siblings? Niseki Nixamboyewoli Chakan. Repeat, Niseki Nixamboyewoli Chakan. In Maidu, words like to, from, at, on, and with are attached to the end of a word. In English, we say these words prepositions before the word. At home in English is habodi in Maidu. The at, di, comes after the word for house. 
So when the preposition comes after a word, you can call it a postposition. Post means after, pre means before. There are just a few of these postpositions to learn, and they're used a lot. In fact, we've already run into these in the recordings and the dialogues. D at the end of a word means in, at, to, or on. So this one's used the most. Na, N-A, at the end of a word means towards or to. Non, N-A-N, at the end of a word means from or coming from. And ni, N-I, means with, like what we heard last lesson, yaluluni, with a flute. Yalulu is flute, yaluluni, with a flute. Let's listen to native speakers saying these, starting with D, meaning in, at, or on. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, arriving at his house. Adikno is arrive. So repeat after her. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, coming into the schoolhouse. Yawikum Habo is schoolhouse. Remember last time you learned Metakum Habo as store. Repeat schoolhouse. Yawikum Habo. We learned Yun Pin as welcome, but it also means come in. Now listen again and repeat. Coming into the schoolhouse. Yawikum Habo Yun Pin. Benekto means tomorrow or morning. So, benektodi means in the morning. Repeat, benektodi. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, the next day, mum benektodi. And repeat, mum benektodi. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, getting up in the morning. Oto means get up. Repeat after her, getting up in the morning. Kumu means roundhouse or winter house built into the ground. Kum actually means hole, and he, as you know from he ball, refers to the roof. Repeat kumu. Now listen to Roxy Paconum say in the big roundhouse and repeat after her. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, a long time ago, or in the old days. Hoyam Gordi. You remember hoyam means old or preceding. The word for time is the same as the word for country or area, koro. This expression, hoyam kododi, is used a lot in all kinds of stories. So listen again and repeat, a long time ago. Hoyam Gordi. Another postposition is na, N-A, meaning towards or to. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, towards outside. Puyana. Puyana. Repeat after her. Puyana. In gambling, if you want to guess that the bones are in the outside hands, you can say puyadi, at the outside. Puyana is towards outside, and Puyadi is at outside, or just outside. We're going to listen to Mame Gallagher say, Take me to my bed, spoken by her partially blind uncle. Bed is tuike. You can hear the word sleep, tui, in the word for bed. Repeat tuike. Hoi we hakoi means lead somebody somewhere by the hand. Listen and repeat. Niki tui kana nik hoi ka koi. Niki tui kana nik hoi ha koi. My bed to me lead. That word order is so different from English. Let's try to say that again. Niki tui kana nik hoi ha koi. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, My grandfather used to be a very good old man towards the children. 
Kausan means he used to be. Repeat, Kausan. And I think you know all the other words. Nick, Nick Opam Weissam, Kausan, Tetet Yaham Weissam. My grandfather, old man, used to be a very good old man. Tetetana, to the children. Repeat, Tetetana, to the children. Put na on the end of tetata children to mean to the children or towards the children. Listen again and repeat. You've learned that chai and chaim mean different or another. Chai can also mean somewhere else. Listen to Roxy Paconum say, go away, or literally, be towards somewhere else. Repeat after her saying, go away. Chai nama angkana. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, looking the other way or looking towards somewhere else. And repeat. Chai na chikono domo. How would you tell someone, look the other way, like if you're changing your clothes? China Chekonopi, you could say. Repeat, China Chekonopi. Or you could say, China Chekonomaankano. Another postposition is non, N A N, meaning from. It can be from a person or from a place. Remember, in the last lesson, we learned from his great grandmother, Maki Hoyam Makotonan. That non on the end was from. Listen to more of these from native speakers. Listen to Dan Williams say, diving from a rock. Yodao means dive downwards. Remember, rock is o. From a rock is onan. Repeat after him saying, diving from a rock. Onan, yonan. Listen to Dan Williams say, from the east. Ekdadoika is east. Repeat, ekdadoika. It means sunrise place. Listen to Dan Williams say, from the east, and repeat after him. The other postposition we'll learn today is ni, with. In the last lesson, we heard the recording with his Indian flute, Maki Inyanam Yalaluni. In English, we would say he played it on his flute, but in Maidu, you say he played it with his flute. You can also use the knee ending like we do in English to do something with a tool or other item. Now, I apologize for the background noise in this recording, but let's see if you can hear Mame Gallagher say, even hitting us with rocks. Ma'at means even. Oni means with rocks or with a rock. Listen again and repeat. You can also use ni for speaking a language. In Maidu, you say you're speaking with a language. The Maidu language is usually referred to as Inyana. Listen to Mame Gallagher tell someone to speak only in Maidu and repeat after her. Pikno means only. You can also use ni to show you did something with a person, just like in English. I didn't find any recordings of this, but it's in the old Tom Young stories. Talking about thunder, Tom Young said, Maki tetetani anodom, going with his children. Notice that children, tetete, has ni on the end. Tetetani, with children. Repeat, Maki tetetani anodom. Here's another use of the knee ending, which is similar to English. 
Aleklek means go fast. Repeat, aleklek. If you put ni on the end of aleklek, it means with speed or fast. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, thinking fast. Aleklek ni huye dum. Huye means think. Listen again to her saying, thinking fast, and repeat. Aleklek ni huye dum. Now let's talk about this and that, uni and ani. We've already been hearing unim and unidi in the recordings, so we just need to talk about them some more. Uni means this one, or here. Ani means that one over there. It's pretty unusual to find uni and ani without some kind of ending, but if you do, it's because it's the object of the sentence. And here's an example. What do you think that means? You might remember if you add yahakas at the end of a verb, it means I want to do that action or I like to do that action. Meto means by. So, meto yahakas means I want to buy. Meto yahakas uni means I want to buy this. Uni is the part that means this as object of the sentence, the thing that's not doing the action, so it has no ending. Listen again to Mame Gallagher and repeat. I want to buy this. Usually you hear unim with the M ending as a describing word. Unin kalem, this woman. Repeat. Unin kalem. It's really used almost exactly like in the English word this. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, Unim Maidam, this man. Unim Maidam. Listen to Dan Williams say, Unin Kodo, this land. Unin Kodo. Now remember, Ani means that over there. Anim is a describing word meaning that over there. Listen to Dan Williams say, that flag on top mountain. Flag on top mountain is some mountain at the western side of Plumas County, and I'm not sure what the English name is, but some of you probably know which mountain this is. Yokoli means flag. Repeat, Yokoli. Yokoltanu means flag on top. Now, listen to Dan Williams say, that flag on top mountain using a nim and repeat after him. Now let's learn how to say from this. Listen to Dan Williams say from this Big Meadows area. Nakam means Big Meadows. Repeat, Nakam. Now repeat after Dan Williams when he says from this Big Meadows area. So in Maidu, you have to say this Big Meadows area from. You put the from on the end of the whole thing. Listen to Roxy Pakonam say, stay away from this woman and repeat. <laughs> It's literally this woman from you will be towards somewhere else. Listen and repeat one more time. <laughs> you have learned Hesado Makare. What's wrong with him? If you say Hesado Maka, it means what's wrong with you? Repeat Hesado Maka. What's wrong with you? Sometimes people leave off the H when it's at the beginning of a word in Maidu, so it might sound like esadom instead of hesadom. The verb anoye means walk around. Repeat, anoye. Unidi means here or in this place. Now, Listen to Roxy Bakanam say, what's wrong with you walking around here? 
and repeat. I saw the maka uni di inoyadom. Anidi means in that place over there. Repeat. Anidi. I don't have any recordings of this, but in the old Tom Young stories, we find it several times. For example, Anidi, Niki Kodoidi, meaning over there in my country. Repeat. Anidi, Niki Kodoidi. Spoken by Coyote. Unina means this way or towards here. Listen to Mame Gallagher say Indian women looking around this way and repeat. Kale is woman, as you know. Kaloknono is women. Repeat. Kaloknono. Now I'll slow down the recording and play it again. Repeat after her. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, Unina Mapi, come over here, or come this way, and repeat. Unina Mapi. Unina Mapi literally means be over here. Listen and repeat again. Unina mapi. Uninan means from here. For example, in the old Tom Young stories, Thunder Boy tells his sister, Unidi bispada, Uninan onodoidom, hepinin kodi, achonomakas. Stay here. I will travel up from here and cross over to the sky. Stay here is Unidi Bispada. Repeat, Unidi Bispada. From here is Uninan. Traveling upwards is Anodoidom. Hepinenkodi. To the sky. Repeat, Hepinenkodi. I will cross over. A chono makas. Now say the whole sentence after me. Unidi bispada, uninan anodoidom, hepinin kodi, a chono makas. Uninan can also mean from now on. Listen to Mame Gallagher say, from now on, you will know both languages and repeat. Achoko means both. You can see the choko like in Saichoko, six, which is a pair of threes. Repeat the words for both languages. Achokom weye. Now listen to Mame Gallagher say, from now on, you will know both languages, and repeat after her. In the next lesson, we'll practice adding D, Na, and Nan to the end of some Maidu place names to talk about where people were born, live, and work. Now, I'm going to give you some Maidu place names I want you to repeat after me. Susanville, Sumbili, Janesville, Widoike, Humbug Valley, Tasman Koyo, Big Meadows, Nakang Koyo, Chester, Oidin Koyo, or just Oidim, Butt Valley, Kaubatin Koyo. North Arm, Hope Nong Koyo. Indian Valley, Nadang Koyo. Genesee, Yatamato. Milford, Wololoka. Canyon Dam, 
Chitakam Yamani, Greenville, Kotasi, Taylorsville, Tosikoyo, Meadow Valley, Eolinkoyo, Quincy, Silo, American Valley, Silongkoyo, Westwood, Sihapke, Crescent Mills, Koyombuku, Honey Lake Valley, Hanu Lake and Koyo. I want you to practice using the post positions and I also want you to practice talking about your relatives. Know how to say the ones you have in your family. Last lesson, I posted a list on Facebook of all the different words for relatives. It's under files on our Facebook page. So try to remember the ones that are in your family and how to talk about them and their names. You should be able to say my, your, their, his, her, and our with each of the kinship terms. You should be able to say a pair or two of somebody's or somethings and the plural, more than two. Learn the Maidu place names if you are Mountain Maidu. I will post it on our Facebook page and we'll be using these next time. For place names outside of Plumas and Lassen County, check the dictionary because some of them, like Sacramento, Auburn, Oroville, some of them are in there. Or you could just use the English word if we don't have the mighty word for it. Hell, Kaninka Khan, Weaboskas, Unidi Chimakas Minchaiman, Yahat Bispada.